What is the essence of the mixed method research? One essence is to enrich the findings. Imagine that you have collected data and the results says that there's a relationship between two variables. You did a quantitative study, but we don't know why there's a relationship between them or if one variable have an effect on another, the quantitative will tell you the significant effect of one variable on another, but we don't know why. This is where you can add a qualitative portion to it, right? Try to interview some participants to really get an understanding of why there is a difference between variables or there's an effect of one variable on another variable. So you are trying to add more rich information to your data or your findings. It also increases the, the depth and the breadth of your study. So the depth one is trying to learn more about an issue by not focusing on numbers per se, but trying to extract rich information through words from participants to learn more, especially when you're dealing with a complex issue. Based on what you found in the qualitative, does it apply to large group of people. So this means that you might develop an instrument based on what you find in the qualitative portion and then survey a large group of people. So you see how you are doing a detailed study about an issue at the same time seeing how it can be applied to a large sample. So the essence of conducting a mixed method research is also to test hypothesis or a model, right? So let's say you are doing a granite theory study. And then you collect data, analyze, and develop a theory, right? You can also add a quantitative portion where you test the theory to find out whether the data support or reject that theory that you have. Sometimes you want to seek participant input, especially when you are doing action research, where you want to conduct research to solve a specific problem. You can first collect quantitative information, find out the levels of specific variables about a specific population. And then based on that, you can also involve participants in a qualitative portion to help to get information to address the problem that they are facing. So you see how for the quantitative portion, most of the time you don't in actively involve participants. They just complete a survey, right? For the qualitative portion, you'll be able to directly involve them in the research process. The last part is to also improve the trustworthiness of your findings. In order to increase the credibility of your findings, most of the time, if you can use both methodology in the study, that would be great. Especially if you want to compare the two findings and see whether there are some similarities between the findings. Well, if there are similarities, it helps to increase the credibility of your findings because both methodologies are arriving at the same or similar findings and it caused a lot of people to believe what you found. So that's the essence of conducting a mixed method of research.